Hi everyone, how are you doing today? It's Holland. Happy evening to you. Today I'm doing another devotion for this book. 366 devotions. Trusting in God. Join me as we learn how to trust in God. So, today's devotion is for May 10th, and it is those who thirst those who thirst right here anyone who drinks this water will soon become thirsty again But those who drink the water I give will never be thirsty again. It becomes a fresh bubbling spring within them, giving them eternal life. John chapter 4 verses 13 and 14. Many of us are like this woman at the well. We read or hear about the living water that Christ gives you. It is like a foreign language because we don't know Jesus personally. We all have treasured memories of the past in our hearts. Perhaps our parents were devout and religious, but the world has sucked us in. There is so much pressure, so many cares, and worries the world becomes appealing and we gradually become estranged from God and we're at peace no we always thirst for something higher and better with fondness we remember how our parents used to read the Bible and pray together and attend a church our memories make it seem like we were close to the gates of heaven. What a privilege to have such precious memories. Do you also sometimes think of earlier times and yearn for a better life? Draw often, draw from the deep and holy well of memories of your youth. It refreshes and invigorates. Even if it also brings shame because we have strayed so far from the Lord of your youth. But we must know that we will not gain eternal life by doing this. Vague memories can never give us what the living Christ wants to give us through his Holy Spirit. Stand up and make the change. Here's a prayer. Pray it with me. Only you, Lord Jesus, can satisfy the burning thirst in my life. So let's read John chapter 4, verses 1 through 14. Now, when Jesus learned that the Pharisees had heard that Jesus was making and baptizing more disciples than John, although Jesus himself did not baptize but only his disciples, he left Judea and departed again for Galilee. And he had to pass through Samaria. So he came to the town of Samaria a town of Samaria called Sychar, near the field that Jacob was given. Jacob had given to his son Joseph. Jacob's well was there, so Jesus wearied as he was far from his journey. 
was sitting beside the well. It was about the sixth hour. A woman from Samaria came to draw water. Jesus said to her, Give me a drink. For his disciples have gone into the city to buy food. The Samaritan woman said to him, How is it that you, a Jew, ask for a drink from me, a woman of Samaria? For Jews have no dealings with Samaritans. Jesus answered her, answered her, If you knew the gift of God and who it is that is saying to you, Give me a drink, you would have asked him, and he would have given you living water. The woman said to him, Sir, you have nothing to draw with, water with, and the well is deep. Where do you get that living water? Are you greater than our father Jacob? He has given us the well and drank from it himself, as did his sons and his livestock. Jesus said to her, Everyone who drinks of this water will be thirsty again. So there you have it. That concludes our devotion for today from the book 366 Devotions. In trusting in God, today's devotion was Those Who Thirst. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this devotion. Have a wonderful, blessed evening. evening, evening. I'll see you tomorrow evening for our three devotions. Thank you. God bless you. Always remember this. God loves you. Jesus loves you. I love you. Have a great day and evening. And see you tomorrow. Bye. Blessings to you all. I love you all.